Hey guys, so Chris here from Schoolia Fish. Uh, about to uh, go in and change the steering column today on the bus, the uh, 2002 E450. Um, so our bus didn't come with cruise control and uh, I recently hit the junkyard. You can check out the other video that I posted, uh, part one. Um, so today uh, I am going to remove our steering column uh, and originally I thought I was going to remove the steering column, the whole thing. Um, but today it's raining, so uh, it's a good day for that. So I think I'm actually going to change the wheel uh, and the clock spring itself. Um, I've been doing a lot of research. Some people say it's a plug and play. Um, the donor bus that I got it from was a 2003 and ours is 2002. So we will uh, see how it works. Alright, so... We've got kind of the workshop set up here. Uh, you can see our bus currently is a pretty stripped down version. Uh, this actually hauled children, so it doesn't even have a radio. Um, it has no cruise control. Uh, the steering wheel is pretty beat up. I'm kind of a perfectionist, so I don't like, uh, you know, this worn off stuff. Um, good thing is though, it does have rear AC. Uh, so we're starting to strip out the bus here. Um, we've got a bad day in the Midwest. So, um, yeah, so I got a donor steering column from the junkyard. And, uh, again, I think my trouble is going to be that this, uh, steering column didn't come with a key. Uh, so these are easily removable, but I did, um, get one from another vehicle, another Ford out of the junkyard, the Conaline van. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, get started here on the swap. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is take a pick or a small screwdriver and you're going to want to remove these caps uh, and they'll kind of fly off. So you'll have to see where those go. Uh, they're just a small pop-in cap and underneath them uh, is a eight millimeter bolt um, and there's two of them uh, those are going to be on each side and those actually hold the airbag so i'm going to go ahead and remove those my quarter inch ratchet And the donor one, they're falling in, but on the uh, steering column themselves, you should be able to grab them, so you may need a magnet. So once that is loose, then you can uh, take the airbag off. So now that the airbag is removed, you can uh, start unhooking these clips here need a small little screwdriver to do that. You want to be careful when you remove these so you don't break any clips. There's a little red one and then there's going to be a black one on this side. And again, you want to make sure that when you're doing this, uh, you are making sure that your battery is removed from your vehicle, uh, just in case. All right, so now that the airbag is loose, um, to remove the steering wheel, you will see that there is a torque head uh, bolt holding and that bolt is actually a T50, uh, T50. And again, I have just a nine piece set from Harbor Freight and the largest set, uh, the largest socket in there is the T50. So removing this, uh, it's not too bad. It's just held in with a little bit of blue Loctite from the factory. So 
Yeah. Here's your bolt. Pretty short. You can see that it's got the factory Loctite there on it. All right, we'll just set that to the side. And then from here, uh, you're going to need a two jaw puller. Um, and again, I just got this at Harbor Freight, uh, part number 64305. Again, uh, this isn't a review. Uh, I don't work for Harbor Freight or anything like that, but uh, it's nearby, so it's pretty easy and convenient for, uh, for me to go grab something like this. I think it was only $20 with a coupon or something like that. So, worth it. Um, you can also go to like AutoZone or places like that will also uh, sell these. They also rent them. You just put down a deposit. So I actually kept the bolt in and did it and I felt like it went better because uh, I didn't have to press against the knurls on the steering wheel and uh, this allowed me to get this off a lot easier than uh, when I was actually in the junkyard before uh, trying to get just the wheel um, before I got the whole entire steering column. Um, I actually was breaking these cast tabs with my puller um, and I think it ha maybe had something to do with uh, the fact that um, I was pressing so far down and maybe it was slipping and it was a little difficult. Um, but this one came off really easy. Uh, so I'm going to go back to the steering column that has the cruise control and try to uh, get that one off. That one kind of fought me a little bit. I kind of cracked the cast. Um, at the top so um, you know there's slots on this thing right here um, but you actually got to go deeper than that if you could see there um, if you put the puller right here it's just gonna break this um, and so I actually stopped using the puller on the other one and ended up going with the medium sized one in the Harbor Freight kit um, because this one was way too big um, and it wasn't able to get behind here. So I strongly recommend using the smaller or the mid, uh, the, the middle one of the three that comes in the Harbor Freight Kit uh, because again, it just broke the tabs. So once you hear the pop, you know you've released the steering wheel. So, again, a tip would be to keep this Torx bolt on. Now, when I was at the junkyard, I actually got another one. So I knew if I damaged one, uh, which you can see, it applies a little bit of pressure, but it doesn't strip it or anything like that. So. That removes your wheel, and uh, now I have to start tearing apart this uh, steering column here uh, to make sure that I now can get this clock spring out of here uh, because they are indeed different. Uh All right guys, so I wanted to share a little tip here I don't have the key to this lock cylinder because again it came from the junkyard and I'm mostly looking at you know replacing the wheels so um, 
A little tip is that this is actually clipped on uh, the lock cylinder. So you actually have to get this uh, piece off here, uh, which is for the um, coil, so the, the cruise control unit. So I'm actually after taking this out. Now initially I was going to replace this entire thing into uh, my bus, but you can see that this is where the key goes. And in order to remove the lock cylinder, you have to have the key to move it forward. And then there's a little pin that you push in to pull it out. Now, again, I don't have uh, this in my possession of the key. So I'm not gonna go to the dealership and give them the VIN and play around with that. So what I'm gonna do is I was able to take this off pry it off just to get the cover. So now you can see um, the clock spring here uh, is all one unit. So there's one little tab here and one little tab here. And then you've got an electrical connection there with your electrical connection to the lock cylinder. So I think I'm just gonna remove the clock spring itself and transfer it over to mine. I'll end up taking the lower dash off um, and adding this just because it's the fly-by-wire system. So that's kind of a little update. So those of you guys that um, would like to do this as a future mod, um, again, it's pretty simple. Uh, and I'm actually really glad that I took the steering column out at the junkyard just so I could have it in front of me uh, to use. And I mean, it was only 45 bucks. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this tore down. clips here that hold the wires in place I want to undo and that sets this free I'm hoping that this is not a botch repair but it looks like the factory just uses a zip tie uh, to get this part out so I'm gonna cut that remove that from the dome and this just slides out, it appears. And then there's an electrical connection here, which looks like you can just pry these tabs up to get them out. And again, I wanna be very careful with this because it is the only one I have, so I'm trying to be delicate with it so I don't break anything along the way here. All right guys, so here I'm taking a lower panel off of the steering column that's installed factory on the bus. There are three Phillips screws that hold it in. Um, and then you have to remove the tilt lever I'm just taking a screwdriver now and getting those out. Once they come loose, you know, they're about so long. You want to keep those, put those to the side. And then you can pop this cover off, um, but you have to remove the tilts first. Remove the lock cylinder now. Again, it's just a little pin here that you push forward. 